and I and I and I question the death of George Floyd. It hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurt them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. Because how could the richest black man ever be humble other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment that actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, which obviously I must have needed. Yeah. I must have needed that extra defense. Are you worried you ruined your legacy, honey? How? How? How well, stop. I'm, I'm, um, I'm not worried. I'm just not worried, period. God is alive. God runs the world. You know, God even runs Hollywood. Amen. God is alive. And he's using me right now. He chose me for such a time like this to be, to basically for the, for the media to put their knee on my neck, for Adidas to put their knee on my neck. All I ever wanted at Adidas, I left Nike because Nike wouldn't give me a percentage for my shoes when I had the Red October. And my girlfriend at the time was pregnant and I needed to get some money because if I was the kid that just had the red shoes, I could have never been a black man wearing a red hat. When the, when the, like Nike would have shut me down immediately, right? But because Adidas was a German company, it gave me a little bit more room to be able to express myself and to actually have a political opinion as an American, that I wasn't forced into opinion, a political opinion because of, of the color of my skin. Now let's talk about the red hat uh, and let's talk about the similarities to the White Lives Matter t-shirt. Mm -hmm. The thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed by a, I'm not gonna say what race, what people, uh, doctor, and what hospital, and what media went to. We know I can't say that. It was a Jewish doctor that diagnosed me of having a disorder that would have had me on medication right now. At a time like this, if I was on medication right now, then one pill could have been swapped out and it would be Michael Jackson and Prince all over again. But because I didn't take the misdiagnosis and I didn't take the, the uh, medication, I'm able to speak to you guys clear of thought and transparently. Now let me talk about the red hat. Wearing the MAGA hat, the way that Hollywood's political agenda attacked me and put me to a point of exhaustion was death by a thousand cuts. Everyone would say something to me, from a driver, to my ex-wife, to Adidas, everyone would say something. So when I wore that White Lives Matter, I said, I'm not going through this again. <laughs> I'm not going, hey, Y'all gonna leave me alone about my t-shirt. Cause what's the point of having influence and having money if people could come up and just pinch you?